walk me through a day in General Holmes's life from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. And I think there's a question for Sarah. Does he ever sleep? He does. Okay. <laughs> a couple, of, about three years ago, across the U.S. military, and you may have read in the paper that uh, suicide is the number one killer of people in the Air Force. Why is that? Part of that is because of the age demographic we have. If you look at that age demographic across America, suicide is the number two killer of that age demographic with only accidents being higher. Uh, we make our airmen take a motorcycle safety training course. We have things that we do that have reduced the accidents a little bit. And so suicide is the is an effort that we're hard after. And over the last two or three years, we've had a couple of high profile journal officers one in the Army, a couple in the Army, and one in the Navy take their own life. And when we looked at it, what we decided is that they had lost any ability to differentiate between their work life and their personal life. They were so absorbed in their work that if their work life went poorly, they didn't have a personal life to fall back on, and they felt like they were failing, they felt like they were a burden on the people around them, and they took their life. Mm. Coming out of that, we talked about some rules and some some ways to keep a more harmonious balance between uh, work and home life. We don't say work-life balance because frankly we're probably always going to be a little out of balance. Mm -hmm. But there's a rule that they talked about, 2, 10, 5, 7. That adds up to 24 hours in a day. And I try to do it and then I'll tell you how well I really do at it. But the <laughs> idea is two hours in the morning for uh, what we call PT, but exercise mm -hmm. and personal time. Try to limit your work day to 10 hours. Try to spend five hours doing something that's not work related, a hobby, an interest, uh, do something with your family, mm -hmm. and then get seven hours of sleep. I do pretty good at the two. I'm in the gym every morning. I do pretty good at the 10. It makes a predictable work schedule for the people that support me. The five, I don't do so well at. I get you know two hours maybe and spend time with Sarah and have a, have a dinner together, and then I sneak back onto my computer to do things for that last three hours. And then my joke is that it's really better for everybody in my command if I do get the seven hours sleep. So I, I try to do that. They <laughs> like me a lot better when I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. 